Hi, this is Anna. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have some supply haul for you to show uh, because I want to start using these things for my next journals. So this is uh, Tuesday morning. This is what I got a Tuesday morning last week, I think. So 48 sheets for $6.99. So it's it's really good price. And look at these bees here, how cute. So um, this is really nice to make tags with this paper. Um, oh, look at these. This is so cool. So kind of um, kind of vintagey looking. Look how beautiful. Uh, these will make really. These pages will make really pretty journal pages and ephemera. Look at all that. This will be perfect for Bambi. For um, perfect for little golden books actually. I don't know I think of Bambi because I saw those the the bunny. Oh how cool. So, uh, cottage style. How pretty. This looks like wallpaper. Yeah, these pages will make beautiful journal pages. So, Tuesday morning. And I got two. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at all that. Look at this image here. This is pink, I don't know if you can tell. So, 48, oh wow, I missed that. 48 pages, and looks like they're all different, so they're not too uh, the same. Sometimes they do, they're all different. Yes, they're they're all different so so that's this one if you're interested that's the garden party by Maggie Holmes so I got two of these then I got this one 48 sheets also for $6.99 so it was a good price and then they also had a bunch of different papers this is probably more for spring uh, but you know you can uh, for boho journals too. Oh look how pretty this page is here. They had different um, paper for that was more expensive. I was not interested in uh, spending more than six ninety nine per paper pad. But this is beautiful. I might actually go back and see if they have more because it's beautiful. Look at these uh, stamps and all these tags, how pretty. Oh, look at this postcard here. We'll make beautiful ephemera. What else do we have? So a lot of florals, a lot of dragonflies and dragonflies here too. Look how beautiful this is. I'll show you the name of this one in a second. Oh, wow, it's so pretty. Yeah, that's kind of farm cottage. Yeah, definitely perfect for golden books. Oh, wow, this would even make pretty journal cover. Do everything with love. See, look at that. Oh, there are bees again here. Cute. Yeah, that looks like wallpaper. Look at these butterflies. And again, these are stamps. And again, the pages don't repeat, don't, uh, each page is different. Look at these stamps. You can cut these out to make a little ephemera, birdhouses. Beautiful, beautiful. 
$6.99. So this one is Antique uh, Antique Garden, this one is called. Here is, I guess, the brand. 48 sheets. So I got two of these, and then I got this one. This one is different, but it's Garden Park. Wait, maybe it's the same thing. It's the same thing. I just had it on the other side. <laughs> But, but here they show you what projects you can make with this paper. Look how pretty, pretty cards you can make. Maybe I could make some cards too. So that's how I got three of these. And then I got this Tim Holtz uh, Metallic Jewels. Craft Stuck. Paper, 36 sheets. So this one I've been already using for my Halloween journals. And just to show you, oh, what happened here? Um, just to show you, this is my last Halloween journal I'm working on. So if you, are interested to see it uh, and you're not subscribed you can subscribe so you don't miss this journal that this color here the background that's that's this this color sheet it's kind of like um, it's not really blue it's like deep teal I would say so there is um, and it's brown on the other side it's kind of like black but not really black it's like into purple there's some purple speckles in it then this color beautiful kind of pink I forget how you call this color and then this teal so the colors are kind of um, different but here you have blue beautiful blue so there are a few of each color green I use this one for the other Halloween journal for the background for the front cover as green orange red and that's the green I used so that's the leftover piece so so red for Christmas and stuff this actually will be for Christmas too this paper was $7.99 and it shows $16.99 so I don't know if that's how much they charge for it elsewhere I, I haven't seen this paper but I haven't been to Hobby Lobby in a while so that's all Tuesday morning and then, um, how do I want to do this? Let's do this. So I also got punches, and I th I believe I already have this one, but you can always have more. But I think I bought this one at Hobby Lobby actually, probably for the same price when it was fifty percent off. So five ninety nine for this punch. And then this punch, I don't believe I have, I have other punches that make tags, but not this one. So this one was, and here they show you the size and stuff. This one was $7.99. Let's see if I have a piece of paper somewhere. something here so but these are tiny these are really tiny tags so let's see so these tiny tags for tiny pieces of paper if you have left over for example see it it, it already jammed so here's the tag, tiny, as you can see, that was the largest one. So I, I was hoping there would be larger tags. They're tiny and they don't have a hole. So you need to still punch the hole. And see how difficult it has some issues to lift up. 
So I don't know if I recommend this one or just this one that doesn't work very well. Uh, I'll keep this one. And next thing I got at Tuesday morning are these notepad sheets. I make either uh, pages for the journals or or I put them in a journal as ephemera so people can journal on these pages. You can glue them in the journals and stuff. So these were $3.99, 450 sheets. Then I got 12 note cards and envelopes, but they're just so pretty. Either to uh, use them for pages in a journal or put them in a journal so for somebody to use. Very pretty flowers. And then you get envelopes. And then I'm hoping to make this into a journal cover. So there'll, there'll be double or even triple purpose of these cards. So there are four different patterns. So they're all flowers, but very pretty, colorful. So how many did I say it was? 14, 12, 4.99, but you know, they're so pretty. Uh, next thing, I got a bunch of um, napkins to make journal covers. So I got stuff for winter, for Christmas journals, for $4.49 as you can see. Very pretty for smaller journals. I was thinking this would be so cute for the cover. And then this one, I also like this one with the car. There's a mailbox here. So cute, season's greetings. So they'll be same size journal. And this one, winter blessing. So I can have three different covers for these uh, smaller laminated, I was actually thinking to do laminated journals with these covers. It's like I already can't wait to start uh, working on Christmas journals, but I still have a lot of other things to finish, but look how pretty. So these were all $4.49. And then I also have this one for the other size journal. And so it's the same size as this. I was showing this one in my previous video. So the, these these were $4.99. Um, so that will be this, this size, longer and narrower. And then I'll put something here, maybe Merry Christmas here. So there will be journal covers for Thanksgiving and this is for Christmas. So really pretty Christmas tree. And this one I was already showing you, but this time I got this and it's just bigger image. But it will be for smaller journal, but it's just larger image. Look how cute. This is the same thing, it's just bigger. So this one was also $4.49. It says fall on the plate. Look how cool. <laughs> so pretty napkins are. And more stuff from Tuesday morning. I got all of this. So I got the keys. For $4.99, I thought it was a good price. Um, dreams, life, dreams, life, memory, heart, secret, journey, love. So pretty. I got two of those. Then this is Lux for the journal cover and keys. So for locks, for keys, and then you have the stuff to attach it with. And I got two of these, and these were $4.99 as well. 
Then I have this stuff here. Word. It says word bands. I don't know if this is how you call that. Encourage your hopes, not your fears. How pretty for journal. What else do we have? Live in the moment. Live the life you've imagined. Capture life's moments. Possibility begins with imagination. Enjoy the journey. Embrace imperfection. Know in your heart your love. The journey awakens the soul. Uh, life is about creating yourself. What else? Reality has limits. Imagination is boundless. Dream as if you'll live forever. Three ninety nine for all these. So, pretty for journal cover. And so I got two of these two. That's the same thing. Then I got charms for three ninety nine. And I don't know how many charms because the sticker is on there. Doesn't tell me. Mm. Where does it? Where, oh, right here, twenty-four pieces. It says at the bottom, right there, twenty-four pieces. So, hello, lucky dream. X O X O found love travel. So 24 of those, and I got two. Let me put this away. And then I got the ephemera for $2.99. It says $5.99. I don't know how much they sell it for at Hobby Lobby. I don't know, but I know I already have it, but I bought it for $2.99. A Tuesday morning. I know I I know I bought it at Hobby Lobby. Sixty so sixty-three pieces. Really cool ephemera. Great for travel journal. This great for Halloween. This could be used for Halloween too. Actually a lot of that. Any really any type of journal. The ephemera is always adding some extra. Like this is definitely Halloween because it's black. So a few tags and then smaller pieces, tickets, uh, stamps. Oh, you probably you probably have seen these already, but I'm showing them anyways. This is this. Oh, it <laughs> it looks like uh, some type of string on it, but it's just paper that looks like it. Isn't that cool? And last thing from Tuesday morning, I got more washi, which I definitely don't need, but I grabbed it. I might even have this one. But it's, you know, add some color to the pages and stuff. And because it's so dark, it will work with uh, Halloween journals too. Where is that journal? Does it start? My blinds are down, so I cannot even see what I'm doing here. Maybe I have one that's darker. So just a little something and.
and it makes the page uh, look more interesting. I could add it here too. Could add it here. I never put the washi uh, together. I have everything mixed in boxes, so it's it's never put away like it's supposed to. Pretty paper, isn't it? You can add more stuff to it. Look how interesting when you add something to the page. Oh, where else can I add something? I don't want to take too much time though. Is there anything blue? This has a little blue in it. Hard to find the beginning here. Just a little something, and it adds this. This has a little blue and dark red, just like the gems on this side. So, yeah, you can definitely play around with this. See if I, I could put some on the tag here. I don't want to take too much time, but <laughs> it's it's fun to use this washi. This is a little darker, so this one too. Let's see. Starts here. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so that's the washi. I don't know if that has a name or not. But that's what I get here. So for 99 for the washi. And another thing I got from uh, you guys are asking me where I get this fabric. Sometimes I get fabric from um, um, Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby, Tuesday morning, and Walmart. And actually, this one I got at Walmart. And look how cool! So I forget how much I paid. This I think this was around five dollars, and this one was maybe three something. So the larger pieces were about five dollars, maybe maybe over five, something like that. But I wanted to show you. Look how pretty this is. So you can, for uh, patched journal, I'm going to be making uh, patchwork journals for Halloween next year. So you can cut this and have different background and then add this on the front and it's going to be such beautiful cover with this look at this kitty cat it's like kitty cat and butterfly and this one too 
And then you have this kitty cat, orange tabby right here. Look with this um, uh, crescent moon charm on his neck. How pretty! So you get, so you can get three different images from this one. I don't know if there are more, but at least three. So how beautiful is that? So that's at Walmart. If you're interested, you can go check um, the, the fabric section and it was there. So this is the same thing. So it shows just these three cats. So maybe it's just three, but it's still plenty for the journal. Look how beautiful this cat is. Look at, look at the face. Little wizard. And uh, he has this star uh, attached to the head right here. Very, very cute fabric. So this, and then I got this one. This, so this one was cheaper because it's less fabric. This one is, it says half, half yard. I don't know if that's accurate or not. But for the same purpose, I, I was... <laughs> look, at, look how cute these kitties are. <laughs> so adorable. Um, same thing. I would just cut this piece and uh, add it as front cover. I mean, for the front cover. So three... One, two, three, four, four different cats, I think. So adorable. They'll make such pretty journal covers. Of course, you can use them for other purposes in a journal, not just the covers, but uh, I thought they would make really pretty, really pretty covers. And like even this paper, this uh, I could probably use for journal covers too. And then this one is Thanksgiving, so same thing. I only picked it because it has these images that I can make covers, uh, I can put it on the front cover in a journal. So I'll be, as you can see with all the stuff I got, uh, with the napkins I'll be making laminated covers and with these I'll be making patchwork covers for Thanksgiving and here you have pumpkins but I think the turkey is the prettiest here of course you can cut these out and add them on the cover all the leaves and stuff so that so that's all Walmart and the last thing I wanted to show you today um, Somebody, somebody text, uh, messaged me, commented under one of my videos about the rugs from Five Below. I think it was Joanne. Joanne, was there you? It was like a year ago, I think. She told me people take these apart for the trims that are inside that the rugs are made with. And actually, BB from BB's Closet Creations, I'm going to link her below my video. She just um, messaged me on Etsy and she actually uh, attached video. So I saw the video and I'm like, I'm going to go check because they just opened Five Below uh, close to where I live. So we didn't have Five Below back then, but now we do for a couple months. So I went and I checked and they did have these rags and I got... A few of them they're they're heavy they're they're kind of they're a few pounds but um it's a, because it's a lot of fabric in them and you can see the fabric so you kind of see what you're getting and i'm going to take it apart in my next video i don't want to do it now because this video will be too long uh, but i am going to take it apart because i'm very interested to see all the stuff that's in it because i've been buying uh, sari silk and stuff from India and I purchased it on eBay so this for for 555 that's the price that's that's a really good deal so I'm going to make a video when I put it apart so uh, take it apart so you can see all the trims that were in this rug so as always thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe you can find this paper or 
fabric or whatever you're interested in at your local stores. Uh, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.